Do you ever work with kids when you're building model rockets? Well, one of the problems that I see that kids have is making parachutes. Uh, the biggest problem is when they tie the lines, they don't tie them evenly. Like you'll have one with a very long string hanging off of it, and then the one right next to it is very short. And the problem this causes is when they gather them up to attach them to the rocket, they're not going to have lines of equal length. See now, if I pull tight, I have these loose ones over here on this side because the lines are not equal. The way to get around that is what I really want to talk about in this video here. It's not so much about building parachutes, but building parachutes with kits. Uh, the first thing that you want to do when you build a parachute is to select a parachute that has thick string. A lot of parachutes have uh, string that's made out of very thin thread. And this is very hard to work with with kids because it takes a lot of dexterity on the fingers to be able to tie knots and to hold it. So I recommend thick thread, which is what we use here at Apogee Components. Um, if your parachute doesn't come with, with thick thread, uh, come to our website. We do have it available, and it's pretty cheap. Uh, and that's going to make a big difference. Um, so then the next thing is actually tithing, tying the strings to the parachute. Now, you can tie them the way the instructions say, like this, uh, making the big loops around. Uh, that works fine. Um, what you should do, though, afterwards is to gather them all up and actually cut them in the middle. And that's why I have a scissors here. So I'm going to cut them like this. Now I'm going to fold the parachute and I want to bring all the lines, all the attachment points together. Uh, let's see, I'll, I'll do it crossway like this. Bring all the lines together and then flip this one over into it. Okay, so then all the lines are together, and then we can stretch them out. Make sure that they're all together. This is the important part. You see, when I stretch them out, they're all different lengths here. And then I'm going to just go ahead and cut them. And then um, you can either attach them to the rocket just like this, but I prefer to use the, uh, the fishing snap swivel trick which pretty much everybody knows about. Um, what this does is because it has the swivel part, when the rocket uh, starts to come down, the swivel will prevent the, the strings from getting all tangled up. So before you make the knot, again, let's bring all the corner points together where all the attachments are. And then pull very tight. Make sure that they're all even, and then tie your knot. And you always make a double knot when you do this. And then I would also recommend taking some regular school glue and just rubbing it into that knot so that it doesn't come untied. Now on this parachute, uh, I purposely made the lines pretty short because a short parachute, um, it's not going to inflate fully like, a, like um, a parachute with long lines. So you want to have extra long lines here when you do this. And again, this is why I recommend just taking the string, if it's particularly if it's thin thread, and just throwing it out, and then go get some good, good heavy, heavy carpet string like this to tie your parachutes. Now, if you're, tying, if you're starting a parachute from scratch, um, this is the way that I would, I would tell kids to, to build it. Um, first I would take the string, and I actually did cut this one a little long, and you want to um, put one of the ends in each hand, but you want them in the opposite end. So if, like this, I'm going to reach down with one hand, pull it up, and then grab with a finger down here. And if you look close, I have three lines. And then you can kind of 
get them all fairly equal. And it doesn't have to be exact. And then cut right across the ends. This is not a good scissors, it's kind of dull. I am cutting off some string, but that's okay, then they'll all be equal. Okay, so now with my three strings, and here's, here's the part that I want to show you is how to make the knot. So I'm gonna, right now I've, I put the, the, uh, the reinforcement ring on the plastic and I cut an X right through the middle of it with a hobby knife. And you just poke the string through. Um, and then you can see, I want you to watch my hands, how I hold the string. Okay, so I, I made, I, I crisscrossed it and did a single knot. And now I'm going to pull, see with this, I'm just holding on the very tip. And I'm pulling, I'm pulling everything from the long end. So now, now I have a very short amount of string right here on the tip. And then it's just a matter of, see under, I take the long string and grab it with these outer fingers, make a loop, and see I'm holding it so I can't pull too hard. And then put the string on top and just push it underneath. And again, just hold on to this, the, the short end and always pull from the long side. So if you want to watch that one more time, I'll do that one more time for you. So I, I poke it through the, through the plastic. And I grab with these fingers on my left hand, I just hold this so that I, it doesn't go anywhere and then just poke underneath and then just grab just the tip, hold just the tip and pull with the long end and that will force the knot all the way down to the bottom and then just poke underneath again and again hold, hold the short end and pull tight. And that's my technique for tying knots and making sure that both ends are very short. And in the what this allows is that when you do do the cut later on, you'll have maximum string length and not short strings like on this parachute here. So that's parachute attachment of strings. And if you have any questions about that, please um, give us an email here at Apogee Components. Our, our email address is orders at apogeerockets.com. Uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan and this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Um, oh, could you do one more thing for me? Um, before you leave, uh, go to the Google um, YouTube site and put a comment on this video because your comments are very important for us. Your comments help draw other viewers to this site so that they can learn more about Rocketry too. So you're doing the world a great favor when you do that, when you put those comments on there. And I really do appreciate it. So may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.